Welcome back, everybody. We're brewing with Mr. Beer again today. Uh, Slipper Socks Double IPA. Um, first, want to give a shout out to Mr. Beer for sending us this recipe and letting us do this video. It's pretty awesome, man. Um, anyway, we got uh, we had to use our big pot here because we had to use a gallon of water, and now we're gonna add this um, booster to it. Max booster. You do that while the water's still cool. It's basically just sugar. Sugar. You sprinkle and all stir. You want to add it kind of slowly so it doesn't spoil the your penguin. Also so it doesn't clump up. And it just looks like water. You know, like, like nothing, it just looks like water, sugar water. So this is a good point. Just about up, so we are gonna add one and a half packets of Columbus hops. And then half of each of these, we have one of the Simcoe and one of the Centennial pellet hops. So half of these each, and then one and a half total of the Columbus. All, all in one sack. That smells so good. We're gonna have like two and a half ounces total all in one set. Drop 
that in and out. And then I move that off the hot. Now what we need to do is... Okay. Now we're going to add our two cans of malt extract, Canadian Blonde and the Golden Ale, which have been warming up in my sink over there. That's good and dissolved. The directions say to put the lid on it and leave it for 30 minutes. So. We're going to set our timer for 30 minutes and we'll see you then. Bye. Okay, 30 minutes is up. It is time now to add this into our fermenter cool it down to room temperature. The first thing I'm going to do is remove those hop sacks out of there. Set them right in the fermenter so they don't splash while I'm trying to pour it. So now I'm going to try and pour this in there hopefully without spilling it.
actually still a little too warm right now, so we're gonna let it cool down before we add our yeast. Okay, this has been brought down to a proper temperature now. It's about uh, 75 degrees in there is what our thermometer says. Uh, you want it to be around that for this yeast. It says right on the package it wants to be uh, between, I think, 59 and 77, I think it's set on the package, so we're about 75 degrees right now, so that's perfect. It's a safe ale US 05. It's a dry ale yeast. And before we add the yeast, I'm just going to stir our beer up real quick to get some air in there. the yeast out so it's like um, covers more surface area instead of just dumping it in to just one giant pile on the top. You don't want it to be like a giant clump of yeast. Then you just cover it up real quick so you don't get any foreign randomness in it. Get this tiny little bubble in soft line around. And that's it for brewing this recipe. We, um, the hops that were left over, I put in the, our freezer right here. We're going to add those to this at 14 days ferment fermentation. And uh, after 21 days, we will um, we'll give it a taste test and see if it's ready to be bottled. And, and then we'll bottle it and enjoy it. So... Thanks again, for watching. Again, uh, thanks for Mr. Beer for providing us with the ingredients for this recipe today. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye. Do you want me to be recording this? We might need a bigger pot. Where's the big pot? What do you mean we might need a bigger pot? You can't put anything in there. It's like a worm. We definitely need a bigger pot. Put this in the bloopers. <laughs>